What's up guys? Today's video is going to be a little bit different. If you're here to see some critters get blasted, this isn't the one for you. But I'll throw a link up to my top 10 so you can go watch that one. If you want to learn how to make the quietest air gun targets for your backyard, then you're in the right place. While my neighbors are cool, yours might drive a douche canoe to work. So either way, shooting air guns in your backyard, in my opinion at least, should be done ninja style. So many folks think it's about the muzzle report. Well, you definitely need to pay attention there, and those folks like Donnie FL can help. Um, something that is commonly overlooked, though, is your target and or backstop. So what are you shooting into? Um, you can have an ultra-quiet air gun, but if you're slinging lead into a piece of plywood or metal, it's going to be loud. So let's dive in and solve that, as it's time for me to do a little upgrade on mine. You can just see how, um, how much, <laughs> I mean, there's got to be a tin in each one of these that I've just sort of dumped in. The problem is, is that I've got a screw just right through the middle of it, uh, sitting into the table for one to kind of keep them anchored. So it's cool that you're reusing a tin, but, um, it's a pain in the ass to get it out. So this other method that I'm going to show you here in a second, I think is much better. So check this out though. This is the back of these tins the only hole uh is the screw right that was holding them in right there but this thing is just chock full of pellets but that's only i mean at its wide at its deepest maybe an inch thick and i've shot i don't know maybe up to 60 foot pounds into this it's pretty impressive all right, so I, I get a lot of questions on these targets that I create. So I'm going to show you real quick. I'm actually going to modify this a little bit. So this, I think all in, two of these is maybe 25 bucks. And then you're going to reuse this stuff. So I just got some electrical boxes from the hardware store. This one, I'm going to mount uh, directly on to the bottom of the table for one like this. Then this guy literally just pops right in like so now i got myself a target the base of it at least so uh this way the reason why i want these separate is getting these out as you saw those things get mangled and if you just put a screw right into the table for one or whatever you got to hold it you got to get all that clay and shit out of there so this is just a whole lot easier so i got this this is going to be mounted this just comes in and out i can bring it in the garage dig the stuff all out the next part is this stuff it's called duck seal so a one you actually don't need a one pound one but uh you can get this i'll leave a link in the description you can get like a 10 pound uh bag of it on amazon for i don't know ranges every time i get it maybe 15 to 20 bucks so uh this stuff is so insane and the reason why i use this is uh it fully stops uh i've shot geez maybe up to 80 foot pounds through a couple inches of stuff and it stops it dead. It doesn't even go through half of it. And it just makes it incredibly quiet. So when you're trying to kind of shoot stuff in your backyard, um, the backstop is usually what makes the most noise, especially in modern air guns if you're quieting them down. So hitting a piece of wood or something is just what's gonna make that whack. This is really soft. So I've already cut one and a half here. Just to, so you don't have to sit here and watch me cut it. Um, and it's like clay. So obviously inside during the summer months, it's a lot softer. Um, but in the winter, it works just as well. It's just harder once you get it outside. So I'm going to kind of work this stuff down in here. You know what? I think a pound is actually going to work perfect. So I cut the thing in half already. And I'll take these guys. Put the first part there. Second part, you just kind of like squeeze into this thing a little bit, like so. I like to make it reasonably flush, and I'll show you here why in a second. This right here, I mean, nothing's going through this, um, air gun wise, even a big bore, um, because you got that, obviously. 
but this stuff is going to stop quite a bit. Then I take a little three inch or whatever size you want to do these in, um, a little three inch guy. Boom. That took how long? Two seconds uh, to make that. So I'm going to go outside, use these holes, take down the other one, mount them in, and then I can just bring this in. This thing fills, I don't know, I, I replaced some that clay. You could take the lead out, right? You could take the pellets out as you're shooting in there with tweezers and stuff. I usually just kind of fill the thing up. And when you're stacking them, as you saw uh, with the ones that I'm replacing, as you're stacking this thing, um, you know, the lead just kind of like piles up in there. And you can pull it out and just add a little bit more on top of that. Or, I mean, honestly, these things are like one pound is like four or five bucks. And I'm doing it every few months at the most. I just dig the whole thing out and then just dump a new one in there. Um, you'll know, you can kind of hear it, how loud shooting lead on lead just starts to get a little loud. So anyways, that's how I make them. I can just take these, bring them inside, take out the clay, whatever, and then just pop them back in here. Perfect. Perfect. See how that goes. That's pretty crazy. So look at that. This is, I think almost 60 foot pounds and it didn't even penetrate, like fully go in. Let's take this thing out. Ooh. It definitely looks like it's smushed pretty good. There it is. Still got the paint, let that focus. So that just barely went in. That's almost 60 foot pounds. So, and that is <laughs> carnage. But anyways, so quiet too. Hits that stuff and it stops it. So pretty safe.